Hi Aries, hi Sagittarius, welcome. This is Aries Sagittarius love reading, Aries Sagittarius relationship, Aries Sagittarius um, compatibility, Aries, Sagitt Aries dealing with a Sagittarius in love. This is a tarot reading. It's just very general. It's a love reading. Um, so uh, whenever you're dealing with each other, I, I feel like this is going to be very fiery, very ambitious because you both are fire signs. Aries is a volcano that erupts and then Sagittarius is a lighter that you can, it's mutable, it's a mutable sign. This is your spirit guide that's guiding this reading. We also have the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. One card for Aries and Sagittarius. One card for Aries and Sagittarius, please. Okay. So the sun isn't here. It's in the reverse. So there's... There's a lot of doubt, a lot of negativity in this relationship. I feel like there's a lot of competition and bragging. There could be some like t temper tantrums, hysterics, but it's very passionate. It's very passionate. I just don't feel like you're able to manifest. This is the divine feminine aspect of Aries and Sagittarius relationship. So just take this however it resonates. That's how tarot is. It's a, it's a meditation. It's going to resonate for different people different ways. Because ultimately all of the, the answers lie within you already. do it this way. This is odd. This is the divine masculine aspect of Aries and Sagittarius relationship. Okay. So I see in the past the divine masculine walked away. There was still a spark there. There's still a spark there. There's still a lot of passion, a lot of emotion. But I see that they just walked away. They saw something. The sun is here. They, they may have left you for a Leo, Pisces, Aquarius. I see them walking off. There's a lot of emotion. One more card for Divine Masculine, please. One more card. So the sun in reverse. We have one hidden presently but I see in the future it's the same energy these are the same cards different decks we have the sun in reverse both times this could be Aquarius I, I feel like somebody's being very aloof very uh, detached there's a lot of detachment in this relationship and it, it looks like it's on the divine masculine end there could also be a Leo involved And I also saw Pisces. I don't know why I saw Pisces. Um, Virgo and Gemini. In the past, the divine feminine aspect was very disempowered. It was this, this relationship was just out of date. There was a lot of self-centeredness 
here. I feel like there was an obsession. There was a lot of jealousy, envy. And the, the, the divine masculine, even though they still love this person, they walked away. They... They're searching for inner happiness. I, I feel like they're just abandoning. They're traveling. In the future, there's a lot of worry and doubt in the divine masculine, the divine feminine. I see that there could be a third party situation involved. Um, this, uh, all of the building blocks are here. I, I see, I see them ultimately releasing pain, moving on, moving on and releasing pain, ultimately. There's a lot of worry and doubt. You know, fire puts out fire. That's how they fight, like, wildfires. They put a different fire as a barrier that they can contain. When one fire is more out of control. And both of you being fire signs. That's a possibility. Presently, I, I don't see any new emotional beginnings here. There's blocked or repressed emotions here. There's blocked or repressed emotions. And I see this person wants to conquer. This person wants to build something. This person wants to breathe life into their plans. Make things happen. Uh, they want a new routine. I, I feel like this is a very beautiful person. Who's very ambitious and takes responsibility on the divine feminine's end. I feel like they've changed. They've turned around. They're trying to take responsibility now. They're trying to... Um, they, they have regrets. They do. But I feel like they're more down to earth now. They're more down to earth now. Let's go into the beer. Come with me and you'll see inside Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Look inside, you can't hide from Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Welcome. This is Aries and Sagittarius' relationship. I see that the cards are here where this can be very beautiful. This can be very, like, ultimate happiness, the ultimate life event that leads to love. The cards are here, but they came out in the reverse. So there's some little tweaks that we can do along the way to make this into something very beautiful. So it starts back here. You know, this person is very weak, very money mad, like... Just all about money. But, you know, they can be empowered, too. This person, they, they really know how to put a house together. They, they know how to put things together. Organize. They're, they're brilliant organizers. Excellent. Excellent at domestic tasks. Um, very successful business person. A brilliant organizer. This person's walking away. But this person can take time out to work on themselves. To become empowered. To innovate where there shouldn't be anything to build something, to make something. There's still a, a psychic bond here. There's still a lot of love. The, the flames are still here. The emotions are still here. They're walking away because they see something brighter. 
the, see the flame here it seems dull compared to what they're looking at here but you need to to reignite yourself because you can make this flame brighter you can make this flame shot brighter I see that, you know, you want to grow, you want to conquer, you're doing all of the right things here. So th the right now, presently, the balls in the Divine Masculine's Court, there's a lot of love here. Uh, I, I feel like this is a brand new beginning. There's explosive potential of emotional security it's here the cards here and I see that's what the divine feminine ultimately wants to manifest and we're now putting the dominoes we're balancing out these dominoes we're putting them in a in a very good order. And look, we're we're overcoming this obstacle, this challenge. We're innovating here. We're we're taking these sand dunes and we're building, we're we're innovating a a pyramid, a point of life where nothing else exists. We're channeling down divine energy, ambition. We're conquering we're conquering here and there's there's a lot of um I feel like there there's loss there's deep sadness here I mean even though we have these built there's still so much more that we need to do the work isn't quite finished but I see that the divine masculine is now on fire and they're they're psychically connected there's a lot of happiness here a lot of joy so I feel like the masculine aspect of this relationship is ultimately happy and the feminine is ultimately sad in this in this scenario. That person's so beautiful. Look at them. They have friends. They have options here. I feel like they're the center of attention. They're the star. Everything revolves around them. They love to read. They love to paint. They're very creative. They, they love to listen to music. They're very artistic. Oh, look at the baby here in the past. There may be a child involved. There's a lot of sweet songs, a lot of sweet talk. There's a lot of sweet talk. You're talking about children here, and it's very beautiful. And I see them staring at you, and you're looking back at them, and they're, you're choosing them as an option. There's a lot of emotion here, and a lot of love and happiness I see I see in the future this this inspires this is a muse this inspires creativity this inspires you to create something brand new What is that I'm not quite sure what that is Yeah, I see that the communication is going to get even, like there's going to be a lot of communication here in the future. But I, I feel like there's a lot of loss here on, on the feminine side. But masculine, I mean, you wanted the happiness, you wanted the joy, and guess what, you got that. 
You've conquered that. You've conquered this. And you're happy. And it's beautiful. And there's a lot of love here. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like that and you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, um, please like, comment, share. That does help support this channel. My name is Serafina Safi, and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much.